Hey, Remote Pilot Jason here, and as a cool SUAS expansion uh, is for all of us, we're here today asking a tough question. Does a drone delivery consume more energy than a van? If a new study is found accurate, the answer is actually decidedly yes. According to Thomas Kirstein, an economist at the Department of Production and Logistics at Martin Luther University in Hale-Wittenberg, Germany, using delivery drones in cities consumes up to 10 times more energy than an electric van would because they can only carry one parcel per go and require frequent back and forth trips. So his team has developed a simulation to compare energy efficient delivery methods across a crowded city, calculating whether uh, current drone models are ready to compete with vans in terms of energy consumption. So when evaluating the hypothetical use of drone delivery, attention has been frequently focused on whether drones could deliver parcels faster and cheaper. But the sustainability aspects, on the other hand, played less of a role. So in this new study, they compared the energy consumption of drones with that of a diesel-powered delivery van and an electric transport vehicle currently used by parcel carriers. So in this simulation, they hope to discover which vehicle had, under which circumstances, the best energy balance. Based on those calculations, the Greater Berlin Area played the, the role of this to calculate those few scenarios. Among other things, his team investigated how how the number of parcels per stop and the traffic situation also would impact energy consumption, expanding calculations to include emissions produced through the generation of electricity and the consumption of diesel. Initially, a trend became evident across all scenarios. Electric vans were significantly more economical than the diesel vans, consuming up to 50% less energy. This wasn't startling considering the fact that in cities, vans have to drive very slowly and stop and start kind of on a creep. So here, electric vehicles just can consume uh, significantly less energy. Now, these factors are not relevant, of course, for drones. Instead, wind conditions play a crucial role in how they perform. If there's a crosswind, for example, uh, more energy may be expended to keep the drone kind of flying on course. On the other hand, headwinds or tailwinds can also have a positive or a negative effect on energy consumption here. So parcel carriers can stop and deliver several parcels on foot if multiple customers are receiving deliveries on one street. This is not possible, of course, for drones, which are limited to one package right now at a time. Based on simulations, however, they also reveal a scenario in which the flying couriers are more energy effective than delivery vans. Those are in the more rural areas uh, that are sparsely populated. That stated, the researcher emphasizes that the higher energy consumption doesn't necessarily mean a poor environmental balance. That's not what they're saying here. Even if drones require more energy, they could represent an alternative to diesel vehicles, provided of course, the electricity they need is generated in environmentally friendly type means. So what if we could get more transport or transport more than one package at a time? Up in the Great White North, Drone Delivery Canada Corporation has announced that it will begin the commercial testing of the Condor, which boasts a lifting capacity of four hundred pounds, a travel range of nearly 125 miles and an operating speed of 75 miles per hour. So this multi-package payload compartment is designed to carry approximately 20 cubic feet of cargo. This phase of testing for Beyond Visual Line of Sight flight is taking place at the foremost UAS test range in Alberta and will test Condor's capabilities. The company is in discussions with various potential customers, many of which have been spurred on by the interest in connecting remote communities to aid amidst COVID-19. So what do you think? Will electric drones supplant diesel vans in the number two delivery slot? Maybe number one? Should we be using drones to transport goods if all the energy efficiency isn't up to modern snuff? Let me know in the comments below where you stand on that. On uh, Facebook, on YouTube, on RemotePot101.com, I and the team here read every single one of them. So I can't wait to read your comments. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week. Remote Pilot 101 is the most successful Part 107 test prep course on the market with over 18,000 tests passed. It's one price and you get our updated initial and brand new recurrent course for life. It's two courses for the price of one and it's for life. See the actual test questions, learn the material, take the practice quizzes all at your own pace through our easy videos you've already grown to love. Visit remotepilot101.com to become a member for life and learn more.